Bam. Recent studies have shown that there is a chemical component within dog feces which can help with muscular gains. Really? Get the fuck out of here. Of course, that's ridiculous. But I say that to illustrate a point. And the point is, a lot of people would believe just about anything in regards to fitness supplementation. Now, if I told you that there was a chemical component in dog shit that could help you gain muscle, you'd probably tell me to go fuck myself. But if I was, oh, I don't know, like 18 time Mr. Olympia or something, then you'd probably be more likely to believe me. Don't, okay? When it comes to supplementation, here's what I propose to you. Do the research on any supplement. Talk to people about any supplement. Do as much research as possible. Find out about it for yourself and use a little bit of judgment. If it sounds ridiculous, it probably is. Now, if I was 18 time Mr. Olympia and told you to eat dog shit in order to make muscular gains, and if I said it with confidence and conviction, you'd probably be likely to do it. If I had some intelligent quote unquote looking guy in a lab coat mixing some odd chemicals and if I was Mr. Olympia 18 times you know looking swole as hell and holding up a plate of nice steaming hot dog shit and told you that this is what helped me build my 18 time Mr. Olympia physique would you believe me I would hope you wouldn't but that is the fallacy that is the fitness supplementation world I can remember uh, a few years ago there was uh, a supplement for I think it was colostrum uh, which according to this magazine article this was a um, component found in women's breast milk which supposedly helped a child increase their their size rapidly and what this particular brand or company or whatever sought to do was exploit that and I remember reading the article that said if you want to grow treat yourself like a baby or something like that I couldn't help but laugh now what I'd want to know is where are the numbers? Where's the data? Okay, where's the research that supports these claims? I don't know. Needless to say, that didn't last very long, and I haven't heard of colostrum supplementation since. As to whether or not those claims about that supplement was valid, I don't know. But that also proves my point that in the fitness world, people would believe just about anything. So remember, boys and girls, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't eat the dog shit. Do your research and use a little bit of judgment when it comes to supplementation remember I got your back and I'm in your corner good luck on your life and your fitness journeys mob <laughs>